Hey everyone, here's a question on common factors. So how to find out the common factors? So the question is about 20 and 28. We have to find out the common factors of 20 and 28. Now what do you mean by factors? Factors means in simple uh, definition we can say in which all table the number comes like 20. 20 goes in one table, two table, 10 table. So 10, 2, 10, 5 all this number will become factors of 20 okay and we have to do a common factor common factor means we're going to first find out the factors of 20 28 separately and then we're going to take the common common from these two numbers so let's find out the factors of 20 now i'm going to show you easy method now since these numbers are small like this numbers like two digit number they are less than 100 so what you can do is you have to just check the table from 1 to 10 just check if this numbers goes from 1 to 10 table and that's it. It's it, then you have to you don't have to check much. Like you can find the factors easily. And this is only applic applicable because its numbers are very small. They're only two digit number, right? So they are less than hundred. So we can use this method. So I'm going to start with twenty. I'm going to find the factors of twenty first. So we know that all number goes in one table. So one into twenty is equal to twenty. Now twenty goes in two table. So two tens are twenty. The next three. 20 doesn't go in 3 table. The next we have 4. So 4, 5 is a 20. Next we have 5. But since I have written 4, 5 is a 20 and 5, 4 is also 20. So I don't have to write again 5 into 4 is 20. It's not not required because I have written 4 into 5 which is same as 5 into 4. The next comes 6. It doesn't go in 6 table, neither in 7, neither in 8. It directly goes in a 10 table. But we have already written 10 2s are 20 or 2 10s are 20, they both are same. So we don't have to write again 10 into 2 is 20. Now once we have written this, the factors will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. That's it. Like I said, you have to just check up to 10 table and you're going to get the factors. So we've got the factors of 20. Same way we're going to do it for the 28. Now for the 28, uh, I'm going to start again with the 1 table. So 1 into 28 is 28. And 28 is an even number, so it goes in two table. But we know that up to 10, right? 2 into 10 is 20, but 28 is bigger than 20. Then what you can do here is you can just divide 28 and 2. So 2 ones are 2, right? We'll get 0 as a remainder. So drop this 8. So 2 fours are 8. So we got the remainder 0. So 14 we got, right? So 2 into 14 is 20. It. So you can divide and check in case you don't know the table. The next we have 3. It doesn't go in 3 table. It goes in 4 table. 4 7s are 28. Next we have 5. It doesn't go in 5 table neither in 6 table but it goes in 7 table. But since we have written seven, uh, 4 into 7 which, which is same as 7 into 4. So we don't have to write down 7 for the 28 again. The next we have is 8 it doesn't go in 8 table 9 table and 10 table so we're going to stop here so we got all the factors here so factors here will be 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 so we're going to write down the factors here so factors of first we'll write down the factors of 20 which is 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 Similarly, we're going to write down the factors of 28, which will be 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. Now we got the factors. Now we have to find out the common factor. For common, you have to just take the one which is present in both. Like 1 is present in both. So I'm going to circle it. 1 is present in both. Next we have a 2, 2 is also present in both, 4 is present in both and that's it, nothing else. We don't, we have, we should find the factor which is present in both. So 1, 2 and 4 are the common factors here. So therefore, common factors will be 1, 2 and 4. That's it. So this is very simple one. The same thing you should do for the other numbers. Find the factor separately and then take a common. Now in case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.